Okay, uh, this is going to be the lesson on how to perform a uh, factorial ANOVA uh, using SPSS or PASW. Uh, specifically, this is going to be on a 2x2 two two factorial ANOVA, uh, but the rules would apply for any uh, between subjects factorial ANOVA. Uh, within ANOVAs or mixed model ANOVAs uh, will be talked about in another lecture, uh, but this is for a 2x2 two between subjects, but again, this would be fine for a 3 by 2 or a 4 by 2 uh, and is even fine for larger novas such as a 2 by 2 by 2 or a 2 by 3 by 2 or something like that. Uh, and ANOVA, we're going to use a factorial ANOVA when we have two independent variables uh, that are both between factors. So in other words, members of one group are not members of another group. Uh, in this case, uh, we have two independent variables, a one titled rejection condition and one titled reconnection. Um, uh, in this study, we're imagining a situation where individuals are either um, included or excluded during an interaction with individuals. Uh, so they, they're playing a game with some people and they're either asked uh, to leave, uh, we don't want you in the group anymore, the rejection condition, or they, they play the game and, and have a reasonably good time. Um, following that, uh, they are told they're going to interact with another person um, and they, they can allocate a certain amount of hot sauce to that person uh, as an aggression measure. And they're either told that that person is really excited uh, to meet the individual, they're really open, they're looking to meet new people, um, or they're told they're, you know, they're kind of a loner, they, don't, they have lots of friends, they don't want to meet anyone. That's our reconnection or reaffiliation ability or possibility. In fact, if we go here, we can see that under rejection, a negative one is rejected, a one is included, and for reconnection, a negative one means no possibility for reconnection, a one is, there is a possibility for reconnection. So our hypothesis is that, um, that although included individuals probably should not uh, allocate hot sauce to, to uh, people, regardless of whether or not they're available for affiliation, that rejected people also will not allocate hot sauce to someone, especially if they know the person doesn't like it. Hot sauce would be really kind of disgusting if you don't like it. Um, but this will only be true if the person is available for reaffiliation. If the person has enough friends, I don't, I don't really need another friend, then, then a rejected person might actually allocate quite a bit of hot sauce to them. So in order to do this analysis, we're going to go up to Analyze, we're going to go to General Linear Model, and we're going to go to Univariate Analysis. And this is going to bring up the following window. Uh, we're going to uh, do a couple things here. We're going to put the allocation of hot sauce as the dependent variable, because that's effectively what we're measuring. And then we're going to take both of the independent variables, and we're going to put them in fixed factor. We're going to put them in fixed factor. Uh, random factors is almost never used. Covariates uh, is used occasionally, uh, though nothing we're going to do for this class. We'll do a separate lecture on covariates, and uh, WLS weight is also almost never used. So if we ran the analysis right now, we'd actually get uh, some information, but we're not done. The next thing I think we should do is click on Options, and we're going to bring over all of these means. These are the marginal means and the cell means, uh, so this will let us know if we have main effects and what our interaction means are. We'll also bring over our descriptive statistics, and we'll even click on estimates of effect size. Uh, this will let us know how big the effect is. We'll next go to plots, and we will, what do we, we, have, we can choose what factors we want in our horizontal axis and our separate lines. We can actually do both. We'll put rejection condition in the horizontal and reconnection in the separate, and we'll hit add, or we can do it the other way around. And we'll hit continue, and then we're going to hit OK. Okay, so uh, we conduct the analysis. We're going to get uh, quite a few boxes. Uh, one of the first is the between series factors box. It just lets us know what our independent variables are, in this case, manipulated rejection and partner available for affiliation. Uh, the next are our, our descriptive statistics. We have uh, individuals who were included with no possibility for reconnection versus with a possibility for reconnection and means and standard deviations, as well as the ends. Same thing for rejected. Uh, no possibility or the possibility of reconnection. Um, down here is where we get to the, the, the really important stuff concerning our main effect predictions and our interaction predictions, and this is the, um, the between subjects sum of squares table. And uh, hopefully you've seen this uh, from class before. What we want to look at are uh, these three rows, and they're going to differ based on whatever your information is. It's always going to be the three rows directly beneath intercept. This first row here, rejection condition, that is looking at the main effect of whether of just being rejected. It is essentially asking, does being rejected alone 
predict differences in hot sauce allocation. The one below, below it is reconnection. In other words, does whether or not the person you interact with whether they are available for reconnection or for affiliation, does that predict differences in hot sauce allocation regardless of whether or not someone was rejected or not? In other words, are we just more likely to uh, aggress against someone who, who is open or not open for affiliation? Uh, the third one with the asterisk says rejection condition, asterisk reconnection, that is the interaction, and we're, that's where we look to determine whether or not uh, we have a significant interaction. So if we go right across the row for rejection condition alone, uh, it looks like our significance value is 0 0.903, um, meaning that it is definitely not significant. There is no main effect of rejection. Whether or not someone is rejected or included itself alone does not predict whether or not they're going to aggress against another person. The same is true for reconnection. Uh, the significance value there is also greater than 0 0.05. It looks like we do not simply aggress because someone is or is not available for affiliation. However, there does appear to be an interaction. The significance value is 0 0.021. That's the p-value. It's less than 0 0.05. This means that there is a significant interaction. This would be written as f1, 14 equals 6.725 comma p equals 0 0.021. Uh, we can also include the eta squared information, the effect size information of, of, uh, of 0.325, meaning it's a pretty large effect. Um, this would indicate to us that there is an interaction and perhaps our uh, hypothesis has been uh, tr proven true. If we go down here, we have our grand mean, our marginal means for uh, our main effect of rejection. Look at how close aggression is. It only They, they differ by only half a... a, a, a have a hundredth of a point. Uh, we have partner uh, available for affiliation. These are the cell beans. This, these are the means that are driving the interaction. And this is one of our graphs along the x-axis. We have whether or not people are included or rejected. Along the blue line is no possibility for reconnection, and green is possibility for reconnection. What it looks like is that when individuals are rejected uh, and there is no possibility for reconnection, there is no possibility for reconnection. People aggress a lot. Whereas when people are rejected, but there is a possibility for reconnection, they actually aggress very little. And it looks like these two bars might differ from each other, but it's a, it's a very small difference, indicating that included people, when there's no possibility for reconnection, aggress a little less than they do when there is a possibility. But we'd have to do what are called simple effect analyses to examine that. We can look at the graph another way here. Uh, same information, just presented a different way. This is when uh, there is no possibility for reconnection. When there's no possibility for reconnection, rejected people aggress more than included people.